I'm going to tell you about Tesla's new battery. Tesla's new battery has cattle cells inside. In other words, Tesla's new 12 uh, volt Li ion auxiliary battery has cattle cells inside. It's time for an in depth teardown and presentation of Tesla's lithium ion 12 volt auxiliary battery. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. With the refreshed Model S, Model X, Tesla switched recently from conventional lead acid to an all new lithium ion 12 volt auxiliary battery. Model 3, Model Y still uses a conventional one. Thanks to an outstanding two part presentation and teardown conducted by Engineerix, we can take an in depth look at this new situation, at this new solution by Tesla, hinted at in early 2021 by Elon Musk and shown only briefly at the delivery event. This was first, of course, reported by Mark Kane of Inside EVs, and I will have the links of those videos of teardowns in the description of this video. But here's what's going on the video starts with a general overview of why electric vehicles still use 12 volt auxiliary batteries and why they continue to use lead acid ones uh, while the main traction battery is lithium ion. The lead acid batteries turned out to be problematic in electric vehicles due to a different use case than a starter battery and manufacturers are expected to switch to lithium ion versions sooner or later, partially with the potential transaction to 46 volt auxiliary system. Some individual users were already replacing their 12 volt batteries with a Li ion version on their own. Is it Li ion or Li ion? I don't know, friends. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to improve my English. So, in general, a lithium ion battery should be smaller, lighter, more reliable, and last longer. It could be a bit more expensive, but the total cost of ownership should be, of course, lower. The old lead acid battery versus new lithium ion previously tesla was using in the model s model x a 12 volt 33 uh, amp hour lead acid agm battery it stores about 0.4 kilowatt hour of energy but weights it's quali uh, quite uh, substantial on uh, 12 kilogram according to in engineerix it's spelled the yeah, i-n-g-i-n-e-e-n-x uh, the batteries last tesla about two for two or four years which is pretty low and sometimes cause unexpected problems if the car stopped working this was the older battery the new lithium ion battery is much smaller and much lighter only about four pounds uh, 1.8 kilogram, kilogram that's because it's much higher energy density but also has a lower energy content so we assume that with a more reliable and smart sol uh, smart solutions there is no need for the 0.4 kilowatt hour the battery has only 0 1 point a kilowatt hour of energy um, according to that description the nominal voltage is slightly higher than normally in lead acid batteries which is 12.8 volt with four cells in series 3.7 volt nominal it should be at 14.8 volt for most of the time. As we can see in the second video, please look in the description of this report. Uh, the links will be there. The new battery consists of BMS circuit board made by Cattle and four prismatic NMC lithium ion battery cells connected in series together. It means that not only are the entry level Model 3 and Tesla Model Y equipped with cattle batteries, LFP traction batteries, but also the all new flagship Model S, Model X has cattle batteries, just the auxiliary, not traction ones. There are no signs of heating system for the battery, which indicates that it's not required. According to the general cattle specs, uh, the battery cells can accept charging at temperatures as low as minus 10 Celsius. That's very cold. And they can discharge at temperatures as low as minus 20 Celsius. 
there is a theory that the system can heat up the battery with a repeated slow charging discharging if need with actually repeated slow charging and discharging if needed the cycle life appears to be high at over 2000 cycles until the capacity will decrease to 80 percent of the initial value if everything was well designed it should last as long as the car well, this is very exciting, right? It's very interesting that Cadill is also making some batteries for, although auxiliary for the Tesla's top selling, uh, top models and high high end models. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day and look forward to my next story. Peace be with all of you and your families. Let's move on to the next Tesla story, friends. Wedbush just raised Tesla bull case from $1,500 to $1,800 and reiterated $1,100 price target. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. This morning, Eva Fox reports from the Tasmania that Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives reiterated an outperformed rating and $1,100 price target on Tesla while raising his bull case scenario from 1500 to 1800 dollars wedbush raised tesla bull case from eight one uh, to 1800 dollars and rated a uh, rate to rated 1100 target bull case lifted to 1800 as the analyst expects the manufacturer's factory in china to continue ramp up and do well as i reported earlier today the production ives estimate that car deliveries from giga shanghai will account for 40 percent in 2022 this is like as the Chinese factory is already working on production about 50,000 vehicles every month. I've said he um, linchpin to the overall bull thesis on Tesla remains China, which we estimate will represent 40% of deliveries for the electric vehicle maker in 2022. While PR safety headwinds were front and center in China earlier this year, we have seen this demand trend reverge. Uh, reverse aggressively in a bullish way for Tesla into year end with the company now on about 50,000 uh, vehicle monthly run rate for China in fourth quarter that could ramp further into in early 2022. This was a quote from Dan Ives. On October 23, Tesla shares have received a $1,100 price target from Wedbush. Ives had increased the price target Tesla from $1,000 while maintaining an out outperform rating i've noted that tesla delivered solid top line results which were in line with uh, analysts expectations and the company margins below uh, actually blew away street expectations these results are expected to speak to a new tesla margin story going forward the auto gross margin was over 30 percent and roughly 250 bps ahead of wall street expectations which highlights the massive leverage in the tesla story now starting to take hold with giga shanghai now being front and center and now tesla is on a uh, on a uh, uh, EBDTA run date of about $13 billion, which is a staggering number considering the company is still in early stages of building out its global electric vehicle mode. Friends, I'm not a Tesla holder. I am not in stock market. I'm telling this to you uh, as a disclaimer. I'm just reporting the news. What's about Tesla? So this is Armin Haryan from TorQNews.com. Please let me know your comments about your expectations on how Tesla will do in the market. I'm excited to see Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai, uh, Giga Texas soon coming online, hopefully very soon. And I look forward to reading your comments. Uh, peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone. Subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla stories. And let's move on to the next story. I have a couple more coming today.